All right, uh, today is a day of failures and whatevers, but hopefully Ghost of a Tale can come to the rescue. So, I played a little bit of this game uh, back when it first hit Steam Early Access, and I actually really liked it. I just stopped playing because I was getting frustrated. Um, but I'm willing to give it another shot, especially now that it's in 1.0. Unless, of course, this fails on me, too. We'll see. In the beginning was the green flame, a force without conscience, consuming all in its path. The creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell. Only to rise again as puppets of the emerald fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought. Until at last, the paraclave, the green flame, was extinguished. Yeah, there are lag spikes in that, but I remember there being lag spikes the last time I recorded this. The, the cutscene is weird. I'm not entirely sure. So, Mara. Mara, where are you? Alright. I'm seeing a solid 30 when I'm moving. I think this game ran into loading issues. This was never optimized to load well. Well, let's grab it. So, uh, this game is kind of an adventure game. It's a third-person adventure game. Uh, what's a good example? Um, with, like, a little bit of stealth. It's like if you took the combat out of sticks. Uh, all the, all the combat, all the murder out of sticks, and it was just a pure hiding game. Um, and, like, running around and looking at stuff. And I really enjoyed it, actually. The, uh, the lore in the world for this is interesting. Are you a goddamn bard? I am a goddamn bard. I'm a, I'm a mouse bard. They got thrown in prison with my wife, but she's not here. So, you stood before the Baron, your wife Mara at your side. He did bid... Oh, he bid you play the poison cup, and you knew then this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did, but from Mara there was only silence and a look of such defiance. He moved to strike her, the Baron, and you cried out and went to her. And then darkness. How many days have passed since then? In your heart you know she's still alive. And that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and a question. Why? Okay. So I got a couple of things that I want to do before we get going. Controls. I need to increase camera gamepad horizontal. It does not move around particularly fast, and sometimes I need to look around quick. Uh, what else do we have? Camera automatic correction. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, let's see. In video, I was going to turn on, uh, turn off chromatic aberration. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's much better. This feels better already. So this is an action-adventure item inventory puzzle game. Yeah, kind of. It's a little weird. Your health is low. Press a button to eat. Also, find me. Cover your tracks and move unseen. Cell key. I think I'm also going to go back and turn the audio back up. It was quiet on the menu, but it's actually... It was it was kind of loud on the menu, but it's kind of quiet here. But yeah, this is more of a, a stealth game. I don't even know if you can fight in this game. The grid is cemented to the stone floor and cannot be opened. Can I sleep? This is no time to sleep. Okay. We want to grab the mushrooms. It, it's one of those where kleptomania is important for this. Apple core. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think I have a carrying capacity for anything. So I don't have to worry about it. Sell manifest. Name Tilo. Profession minstrel. Offenses. Acts of sedition. It's locked. You need the screaming door key. You've attracted a guard's attention. Quick go to the chest and hold right trigger and A to hide. So the guards are really stupid in this game. Oh, how does saving... Oh, saving is so much faster than it used to be. Anyway, so how many of you guys like Redwall? Because I really like Redwall. I grew up with it as a kid. Um... And, like, huge fan of it. Okay. Now, if I remember right, this guy goes to sleep. You can run really fast on all fours. Hold left trigger to sprint. I could. Or I could just eat... I could just grab a bug. We just want to klepto everything as we go by. Let's see. I think he falls asleep over there. There is a way... Let's see. Grab the grain. There's a way to, like, piss him off, but I don't remember what it is. Stick. Uh, I can throw, equip, unequip. It can be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, interesting bits. 
it almost reminds me of somebody took uh, King's Quest and then made it like a, a 3D stealth game instead. Which I actually really like that. Uh, see, there's a guy in here, but we're not going to be able to get him for a while. Oh no, we can't get him immediately. I think I'm going to have to turn up those sound effects because I can't hear anything. I'm not entirely sure if these audio sliders are accurate. Ferret's balls! What do you think you're doing, Mousy? Barging into my cell uninvited? Do you know who I am? Read footnote. Fe uh, footnote. Ferret's balls. Ferrets are renowned for their wedding festivities. Oh, f yeah, it is ferret's balls, which involve magnificent balls, often danced at a breakneck pace. Oh, as in a dance. Balls is in, like, you know, a gala. Her. Because I have no idea. You don't know your own name? No, wait. Carol Red Whiskers. Yeah, that's it. Carol Red Whiskers. At least I was. Navigator of the Lake Witch under Captain Otto Powder Keg. Read the footnote. Captain Otto Powder Keg. A stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse. Captain Otto pow Powder Keg was the Captain of the Lake Witch. A galleon that for more than a dozen years terrorized the merchant ships that ferry goods between the five great ports of Lake Valia. It said that he'd wax his tail and set it alight before going into battle, and it was this that gave him his name. Captain Powderkeg gained notoriety for his crimes and fame from the handsome wanted poster, which he himself had printed up and distributed in order to bolster his renown. The captain was finally captured when his ship was wrecked against submerged rocks just off the, the eastern shore of Lake Valia, near Dwindling Heights Keep. The cause of the wreck was never established and will likely remain a mystery, for once the doors of Dwindling Heights closed behind him, the captain was never heard of again. So you've come to rob me, have you, you little scrunt? Scrunt, a word too rude to define. Uh, of course not. Two things I can't stand, the smell of mice and the smell of lies. What'll it take you to get your stink out of my cell? Oh, please, I need your help. Is that right, and what's in it for me? Uh, perhaps I could try and find the key to your chains, set you free? Free, why would I want to be free? Being free is what got me put in here in the first place. Well, that and the piracy thing. No, I've got everything I need right here. Damp air and all the flies I can eat, and my own stool. But there is something. Down in the corridor, the sleeping guard, I need you to strangle him. What? Why? Because he called me a pirate. That's terrible. So you'll do it then. I mean, I could try. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, laddie, I'm pulling your leg. I'd never ask you to do something like that. I'll do it myself when the time's right. Why don't you just steal a bottle of his rot gut for me then? I'll see if I can help. All right, there we go. The audio on this is a little messy. He's a frog with a peg leg. Huh, neat. Oh, get a bug. Yes, bugs. I think bugs are used for uh, food. I don't really remember. How do I climb? Uh-oh. Oh, it's, it's that. Okay, where's my stick? My stick is broken. Well, rest in peace, stick. You're a companion for all of a couple of minutes. I need a candlestick for that. I can burn a banner? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we've got a guard. I think he's asleep down there. Let's keep grabbing mushrooms. Yeah, the stealth systems in this game are really well done. It's pretty easy to tell when an enemy knows, knows like, where you are and so on and so forth. Okay, I need the jail master key. There's something you can do to knock this guy out, but it's been a while. Become the pyro mouse. Okay. To hold right trigger to sneak. Green bug. And as long as I, like, don't sprint past him, he pretty much never wakes up. Turns out, though, later on you can actually just, like, straight up, um... Uh, later on you can just straight up sprint past him and just run away. I mean, I could do it right now, but I don't remember the layout. And they might have, might have also changed things. It's been quite a while. Okay, you put a new candle on your candlestick. Cool. I'm also frozen. Uh-oh. I... Oh, okay. I'm back. I'm functional. No, I'm not. I am... Hmm. Well, I'm going to... How do I save again? I'm going to save game. Oh, I need to enter a hiding spot before saving. Well... It is time for the adventures of the mostly t posed mouse. <laughs> Whee! Alright, so we want some of this guy's rot gut. I should be able to just get some. 
Ah, uh, maybe not. Not entirely sure. Any of these are lootable? The answer is no. Looks like rigor mortis set in prematurely. I guess we probably got to get that key from him. Okay, tread lightly, don't wake the guard. Ha! I'm dead. <laughs> okay. So that didn't work so hot. Hopefully I'm functional now. Oh! It's, it's saved back here. So I can't talk to this guy anymore, but we don't have to redo nearly as much as I thought. And apparently you can't sprint while you're stuck in perma -tipos mode. Well, that's fine. I kind of needed that. Even if, you know, obviously... Not the most helpful to get set back like that. Whatever. Can you not interact with Tipos, maybe? Yeah, I don't think I could. I think the, uh, that, to some degree, is the problem. Okay, I already know how to sneak. Figure that out. Give me the bug. Give me the apple. Give me those mushrooms. And we'll go save before I go too far. Give me those bugs. I probably just have a bag full of bugs at this point. What? Oh. Didn't realize I could get that open. Okay, let's hide in here and save. I think I've quick saved. Let's regular save too, just in case. Okay, and now I can move. Yes. Now, I think stuff like mushrooms regrow, but it's been a while, so I don't really remember. I need the flooded cell key, wherever this is. If this is going to be one of those games where, uh, if any of you guys have played this before, uh, or are playing this alongside me, I will probably request at least a couple of uh, tips on where shit is, because I, I forget. Okay, bottle. Yeah, so I couldn't I couldn't loot things. Doesn't look like I can pickpocket him though. There's the bottle of rot gut. If I really wanted to, I could just do this. See ya. The thing is, the rats are really stupid. Like, they don't... They really don't look very hard for you. They're just like, huh. Weird. The prisoner escaped. Bye. And then you can just go about your business. It's really funny, actually. Just how, like, non-functional they are. Certainly makes my life easier. Oh. Huh. Anyway... Sup, I got some booze for you. Puss, uh, Pussyalamus. Alanimus. What does it mean, this word? Uh, it means to lack courage, I think. Yeah, in that case. What are you doing in my cell, you Pussyalamus little merkin? Here's the bottle you wanted. It's his last one. Good, now pop the bottle's neck twixt my lips. With a deft flick of his head, the frog sends the bottle spinning across his cell. It shatters into pieces against the wall. Every time that scrunt gets soused, I have to put up with his damned snoring. Well, no more. I've done as you asked. Now, will you help me? I gave you my word as a pirate, but I suppose I can make a little exception. I'll answer a few of your questions. What's it that you want? I'm looking for someone, Mara, my wife. Is she, is she a mouse? Wearing a hood, yes. Har! Then who can say? It's not easy to tell you mice apart with your ears and your tails and your silly hats. Kolba. A mouse's hat or hood counts among their most prized possessions and is a source of great pride, representing it uh, as it does their profession and their social status. A mouse of any repute is never seen by any creature save for their spouse without their kolba. There are, however, notable exceptions. It's said, for example, that while occupying the town watchtower in protest against harsh working conditions, the quarry mice of Hume threw off their hoods, emphasizing to all the seriousness of the matter, whilst at the same time making it difficult for the soldiers of the Red Paw to later identify the culprits. They're not silly. Pah! Right then. That's your first question. Asked and answered.
Uh, let's see, what dungeon is this? Here in the Dwindling Heights Keep, on the shore of Lake Valia. Read the footnote. For centuries, the keep at Dwindling Heights has defended the eastern shore of Lake Valia. Though once a fine building, the keep has long since fallen into disrepair. Its greatest enemy no longer marauding ferrets, but instead the acidic waters of the lake, which are slowly eroding, uh, eroding the cliff face on which the keep stands. It's for this reason that among the locals, the fortress has become known as the Dwindling Heights. You'd best get used to it. Right then, I'll give you two more questions. Uh, let's see. Tell me, was it you that helped me escape myself? What would these chains tell you, Mousy? Does it look like I could help you escape? Oh, I suppose not. Aye, I wouldn't if I could. Right then. You got one question left, Mousy. Make it count. How long have I been here? Let's see, it must have been more than ten days now since they brought you in. Dead to the world you were. Right then. That's your lot. Are we all square? That's all, you told me almost nothing. I gave you more than you deserve, ungrateful strunt. Don't you think you owe me at least something? Ha! Only thing you get, you got coming from me is a good strangling. With what? You've only got one good leg free. I've killed mice for less. And with less! Ugly little... Uh, tell you what, take a look behind me in my chamber pot. There might be a couple of florins in it for you. Why would there be florins in your chamber pot? Why? I'm not going to hold them in forever, am I? Prisoner's purse. Captives brought into Dwindling Heights will often swallow their valuables in order that they not be confiscated by the guards. They call it the prisoner's purse. Inevitably, nature will take its course. It's said that great wealth can be found in the chamber pots and sewers of Dwindling Heights. It's worth a few florins to be rid of you. Florins. The florin is the official currency of the five rat provinces. Its coinage is minted in 1F, 5F, and 10F denominations from a naturally occurring alloy of silver, gold, and copper found only in the Sarastra Mountains. The coin bears the emblem of the red paw on its face, though some older florins featuring a portrait of Roderick, the last rat king, are still in circulation, colloquially known as cowards. These coins are greatly prized, for they are substantially larger than their modern counterparts, and so can be melted down and recast in molds struck from the newer coins. Three cowards can be used to make as many as five florins. I should go. Farewell. Don't let the door snap on your tail. Well, see ya, dick. Have fun rotting in prison forever. I really like the lore for this game. They did a really good job writing it. it it's so... I mentioned before we started this that I'm a huge fan of the Redwall series. I grew up with uh, the Redwall game, er, games. Uh, the Redwall books. Oh, not going to take my forms. You know, I totally forgot about that. Oh, right. You can go into stealth mode to lose it faster. I got to go loot the poop. Loot the poop! I mean, rat's been in worse. Oh, there's mushrooms behind him. And three florins, which we do actually need. Okay, there we go. Uh, but so I grew up with the Redwall books. I was a huge fan of them, honestly. Uh, I read every single one up until about Lone Hedge, and then I kind of aged out of them. But until then, like, I was... Oh, they were great. They were great, like, beginner fantasy books. Can I get through here? I need the screaming door key. Well, time to knock out a dude. How do I do it? That's how you do it. Anything else? Nope. Well, see you later, jerk. Have fun napping. I should probably leave that open. If I remember right, there's a guard that comes through here. At the very least, I'm going to save. I'm fairly certain there's a guard that patrols right through here. What are you... Ah, there he is. 
I could just knock him out, but we don't have a li we don't have an unlimited supply of uh, we don't have an unlimited supply of bottles to chuck at things. They are limited. Now I think the real trick here. is to actually get past him at this point. I think I can just get in here. Yeah, how the hell did he not see that? I don't know. They're kind of dumb. I like the quick save system. I don't remember there being a quick save system in uh, the previous version. No, I don't think I can close this door from the inside. So I'm going to have to be a little careful as we go by. I need a cupboard key. Now, I can jump. Oh, I see I'm supposed to get on top of the cupboard. Did I? I think I tried getting on top of the cupboard in the past and I utterly failed. This game is not exactly built for platforming. I think it's made in... Is this Unreal or Unity? It's one or the other. Um, And it was kind of... A lot of people were complimenting it. Hey, unlimited candles. That's helpful. Uh, let's see. Drawer. Cupboard key. Yes. We've also got some fate cards, which I don't remember if fate cards do anything for me. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think bottles do respawn to some degree. Yeah, it looks like Unreal graphics. I think it is Unreal. It's got much... Uh, Unreal always felt a little bit more realistic to me. Uh, Unity always felt a little bit more stylized. I'm sure somebody will argue with me until they're blue in the face about that, but whatever. Okay, so we get the Pirate's Baldric. Pirate, a portly, barreled ra uh, portly barrel of a rat with an infamous short fuse. Captain Otto Powder Keg was Captain of the Galleon Lake Witch. Anyway, so uh, we need to get the Pirate's Hat, Eye Patch, Baldric with Buckle Ruff, Silk Sash, and Grey Buccaneer Boots. If we get the full set, I believe the Toad will have new dialogue for us. And we also get, like, stat bonuses and stuff. It's actually kind of helpful. Okay, now he's just over there. So next up, we want to get through here. I need the Jail Master Key. And I can't carry more of these. Dick! Nope! Well, I'm trying to... Oh, this is this is how you run. I can't run. Why can't I run? I don't know. Is dumb. Oh, good. Give him the slip for before trying to hide. Well, it's okay. It's going to send me, send me back anyway. Not a big deal. I thought you could sprint while they could see you. Just knock him out. They ha uh, you can't not... Uh, was I pressing the wrong... I might have been pressing the wrong button. Uh, for... Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember the controls particularly well. So I might have just straight up been pressing the wrong button for knocking him out. Okay. I think one of the... Yeah, this one had a stick in it. I do. I think I will have to knock him out, though. There's another key somewhere. I don't remember where it is, though. There it is. Cell manifest. Barfun Neils guard. Theft. Disorderly conduct. Yeah, we do need to get in there. Oh, we might as well quick save as we go by. Uh, I believe thieves close increase your max HP. They do. Close. So we've got the Minstrel Rope Belt and Minstrel Hood. Oh. We need to go back to the cupboard, I forgot. I got a kerchief. I need the begging door key. Oh. I know what I did wrong. Okay. I need to carry a stool over there. Anyway, so let's uh, throw in the p 
Pirate Baldric, it increases pretty much everything. Uh, if you wear too much of it, you will get... Uh, no, it's the other thing. Uh, I think there's, like, the armor set or something that, like, slows you down considerably. But gives you a ton of HP. Oh, Sprint Meter in the top right goes down if you get hit. Until you eat... Oh, that's what it is. Okay, well, one way or another, there's no reason why I shouldn't be just cramming apples in my face. Okay, so we're looking for a stool. There it is. Begging door key, and we're just gonna hang out here. It'd be neat if you could actually, like, permanently knock these guys out. So that's the HP bar. Yep, HP and stamina. So if you're wounded, uh, you can't run very far either. Can I... Oh, I'll have to eat one of each. Okay, whatever. We'll just eat a mushroom for now. Oh, I bet you can use the stick to get the key. You're right. But I, I specifically remember using the stool to get the key. Well, this game is adorable. It is adorable and really well handled. Uh, it's... It was one of those series that I did a while back as kind of an early access thing. And I was really fond of it. I need the Jailmaster key. Oh, I don't have the Jailmaster key. Oh, I know where to get it. It's just part of the problem I ran into is I kept getting lost. Like, badly. Warning. The drawbridge mechanism is sensitive. Waiting for repair by the blacksmith. All right, so sticks while we're here. Infinite sticks. Uh, but this is one of those games where I kept getting uh, stuck and lost. Uh, kind of in the same way that I was running into problems with uh, Treasure Adventure World, I believe it was. Uh, that was a fun game that, like, for the life of me, I couldn't... Um, uh, for the life of me, I couldn't, uh, reasonably oil jar. Let's fill our lamp up while we're here. Uh, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out, like, where to, what to do and where to go next. But now the game's fully out. Hopefully some people will actually have some guides out. Because playing this early access was, uh, a little hard. Like, really. Okay. So if I remember right, this place was rough. Because there's actually, like, two rats that hang out here. And that one... Hard to deal with. I don't actually remember how I got past these guys. I mean, I could just switch to a bottle and just brain him. If I switch to this side, maybe I can just hug the wall. Yeah, I can just hug the wall and knock him out with the barrel. If I want to. But yeah, so uh, just to finish the Redwall rant while I'm semi-safe. Uh, so yeah, I grew up with Redwall. Had a lot of fun with with the books as a kid. Need the barrel room key. Gotcha. Um, but the problem I ran into is, you know, obviously they were only books. I tried reading the TV... Uh, reading. I tried... I read the books. I tried watching the TV shows. Okay. Now this should kill him. It doesn't, and that confuses the hell out of me. Did this guy have anything else on him? Nope. And he's not going to remember little mousy footprints all over his body when he wakes up. I think... Okay, there we go. We should probably save. Um, but so, I actually heard that they were working on a, a red wall game recently. But I didn't hear good things about it. And then I didn't see good things about it. And it looks like it... Uh-oh. Nope. Shit.
didn't find a good hiding spot. Whatever. We'll be fine. I'll wait for your pursuers to lose lose you before you save. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, so the Red Ball game was uh, not very good looking. Uh, suffice to say, I guess we'll have to wait for him to loop. Uh, and so then I heard that this game was coming out, and I was like, oh, this looks like a Red Ball game. And it's not. I don't know if it's even inspired by Red Wall, but whoever it is managed to, like, perfectly capture the feeling of, like, Red Wall. Uh, as, like, a, as, like, an indie game. Feels really good. Okay, so I can just hide in this cupboard. Uh, let's grab Unquiet Waters. We've already filled that up. I'm gonna just hide in the cupboard for a little while. Wait for him to come by. 